Hi, my name is Kai Wan. I already daily drive this Pocophone M3 for over three months and I really love it. Not because it has powerful performance, it's all about 6,000 milliamp hour battery. 6,000 milliamp hour battery. It's impossible to kill this battery in a single day. So if you're a crazy gamer or you're just going to surf the internet whole day, this phone just packed so much juice in it. Just awesome. 6,000 milliamp hour battery is just insane. You cannot even find it in a flagship smartphone. You just can't find it in some kind of gaming smartphone. But in a budget phone, this is just insane. A bigger battery means you need more time to charge your phone. So they just include a 22.5 watt in the box. Pretty good. I'm really impressed how Xiaomi just packs so many high quality hardware in this Poco phone and still keep the price so low. For example, all the company may just take away the big screen and just put a crappy screen and big bezel. Although the peak brightness is not too good under the sunlight, but the screen quality is fantastic. All the company may just take away the high quality audio jack and just slap a crappy audio jack on there, but this Poco phone high quality audio jack is here. The audio is so powerful, it's so clean, and you can set up your favorite EQ in the settings, no app required. And about the audio, all the budget bring would just leave a single mono speaker at the bottom. But this Poco phone, we have stereo setup. The audio comes out at the bottom and the earpiece. They also leave a cutout at the top, so the audio can come out from the top, the bottom, and the earpiece. So if you are playing games, cover all the speaker, you can still hear some audio coming out from the earpiece. And if you're watching a movie like this, your audio will sound pretty balanced. The only downside, the volume is too low. It's hard to hear anything outdoors. I really love the position of the fingerprint scanner and the power button, just well placed. And this fingerprint scanner can even recognize some oily, wet, dirty hands. So really good fingerprint scanner. This front panel, Gorilla Glass 3. Just okay, just don't smash your phone onto the ground, it will be okay. Two SIM card slot, one SD card slot. By the way, this clean case comes in the box, just well made. Clean cutout, no sharp edge, easy to press button, USB protection cover. In this case, just hide the camera bump and it just fits so well. This is A plus case. So I have several equipment need 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi, so I just search the internet, find the cheapest, Budget phone have 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi, and this is it. Other budget phone you need to pass 200 or even 250 dollars to have 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. So 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi in this Pocophone M3. This phone no wireless charging, no NFC, and no notification light. But the notification light I'd always turn it off, so no big deal. I'm just curious, who asks for this IR blaster? It's just not powerful enough and it's just not stable enough. It's hard to use it every day. Next, we're going to talk about the performance on the Pocophone M3. It's okay for social media and YouTube videos, but it's not snappy if you want to multitask several apps. Phone will close the app in the background so fast and it never used all the four gigs of memory. We can play some games like Code of Duty, no problem, but at medium graphics settings if you want higher frame rate. The phone will heat up after 30 minutes of gaming and the performance will drop dramatically. This this Pocophone is using MIUI and I thought it will be stable and fast, but I'm wrong. The MIUI is kind of buggy on this phone. The gestures stop working sometimes and the homepage will stop working sometimes. I don't know what is going on. Finally, camera test. So we have three camera, one macro, one main camera, and one depth sensor. So depth sensor cannot take photos. The main camera is just okay. Dynamic range is okay, lots of noise, and there are no any OIS or EIS in this phone. The autofocus is fast enough for daily use. And about the macro camera, it just... Not good. <laughs> so I used this phone for over three months. It's just a little bit slower, but the battery size is just insane. You never need a power bank. You never need to find it charger to plug in your phone. So maybe you can find a flagship smartphone or a gaming phone that have 6,000 milliamp hour battery, but they can still drain the battery in a single day. It's impossible to drain the battery in a single day. This phone is just 
so unique. So this Pocophone M3 is for somebody who needs huge battery, huge screen, and awesome stereo speaker. But if you need better camera or better performance, this smartphone is not for you. Okay, so this is the full review about this Pocophone M3. So if you like this video, press a like, make sure you subscribe my YouTube channel to check out more video like this. If you want to watch more video like this, check out this playlist. My name is Kaiwan and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.